and welcome. If you're a first time viewer, then my name's Nigel T. Best and we are renovating a lopsided terrace house that needed everything doing to it. We're well into it, but what we want to do is go live, which means I need your help. Can you subscribe? Because if I get over a thousand subs, then that means I can do a live off my mobile. At the moment, I've got to do some convoluted software type thing and it might not happen for a while so i'd love it if you watch the episode like it subscribe come back and join in the rest of the crew as everybody tells me what i'm doing wrong how i should do it as we escape to the dream house hello folks well usual position walking out of a shop with some gear but this time it's some um, slightly different bits which is some tiles of mats and some curtain type things and stuff so some tiles you know for that fireplace in the sitting room we want to see if the, how they look and we've got some blinds as well for the kitchen just to try it and some curtain poles as well so let's load up Van. Do you know, if you have a van and you have some scruffy gear, everyone thinks you must be a tradesman. <laughs> How little do they know? Now I've got a bit of PPE gear, but that is not for the dream house here. It's for Francais dream house. Oh yes, coming soon folks. There we go, that's one of the tiles that I'm going to have a look in the sitting room with. Right, Matthew's disappearing off for a job. It really is, I'm, I'm kind of on my lonesome these days. Wander into the sitting room with this tile and see what we think. So up against the uh, paintwork. Yeah, I think that works quite well, but this is the spot. So hopefully this tile in that spot will look all right. Here we go. Oh, I tell you what, that looks, that looks absolutely fantastic. Oh, that looks great. That really does. So in here, I've got a curtain pole. So I'll be sticking that up so we can try and hang some curtains in here as well, instead of having the deluxe uh, plastic look. I don't think the plastic look is gonna catch on. The color drenching may, and for those of you that are wondering what the hell's color drenching, it is where the skirting board is the same as the wall. Oh my word, whatever next. But I think that's, I think that's just an old technique coming back. I think that was something that was done years ago. So, right, crucial things. One of these needs some of that on here, electric. Copper, that's crucial. Huh. So the water comes out of a tap and it drains away in a sink. And you can put the kettle on the electric and they all work. Do you know? Wonders will never cease. It always really makes me smile. I really love the fact that they work. Who'd have thunk it? Let's go rearrange the sitting room a bit and see if these tiles, how many would fit and all the rest of it, so. Look at that, where are they? 
coming from. Now, if we think about it, oh, Let's have we had one there, one there. Come on, could it be? No. <laughs> okay, well, it was asking too much on there to be perfect four tiles width. And you can see it comes, but then we've got just a bit of an overlap there. Uh, next job, I think, is I'm going to stick the curtain pole up. Uh huh. Oh. Come on, play the game. I'm not very good screwing things in left-handed. The pole's sort of up, but isn't up, because I've realised I haven't got the metal hoops that will hang the curtain from it. So, yeah, you know where we're heading at some point. Exactly. Back again. That looks, as a curtain pole, that looks good. Now, one of the things that I've got to do is in here. Which is the other side of the stairwell in terms of plastering. I'm not looking forward to that. What we've got as well is this bit up at the top here to do. Oh shit, there's loads. I could sort of do that myself. I don't I don't need Matthew for this bit. We've got a big hole up there where we kind of blathered through into the top floor. So as I'm looking at the jobs, that bit, that bit is awkward. Um, we've got a funny little bit down there on the angle, that, that'll be a pain, but we can do that. Then it's the big wall, that big wall up there, that's awkward. This bit I can do, that bit I could sort of do, but it's just into that corner. I'm standing and I'm staring again. I know I am. I know what I could do because a lot of you have said it and I think it's probably very wise words, which is I should probably paint this with SBR now because, yeah, by the time I'm plucked up the courage to do it, the SBR will be certainly dry. So that's one job I could do in that. Right, let's write these jobs down. SBR walls, uh, tiles to cut, oh I need to buy curtain rings, right, we'll see what I get on with in a bit. One thing I did get is one of these, one of those washable floor mats, why, because at the bottom of the stairs there's mess that just comes and it's been walked into the sitting room and the floor is getting trashed so i put this down just as something to just try and stop all the rubbish being walked in and ruining my floor because the steps are still a mess the kitchen's still a mess so let's just have that to try and just stop some of the debris getting trodden into the floor and stuff. Uh, it's not, it's going to take ages before this house is clean, clean. It's really, it's awful. <laughs> it has been for months, you know. And, and trying to sort of live in it as well as do it. It's horrid. But there we go. All part of the fun.